Oh, Bruna. Um, all right. So you hear some noise. See, you just have to cope with it. All right. I'm in school area. So, and if I say I should make the tutorial night, I may still not have time. And you know, I don't want to be, to be as if I'm ripping you or I'm cheating you. You understand? So I just have to make the tutorial night. In fact, I'm just entering the house. So, um. This is Peter Osby's picture, all right. And you may wonder how I import the picture. This is what I did. No matter, anytime you open your sketchbook, all right, you will see something here. It could be blank. When I mean it could be blank, it could be like this, you understand? So anything you find whatsoever, just slide in with your two fingers. It could be your two thumbs, just slide, slide in. Then you click on this plus sign. Can you see it? And then you click from new from image and then you select the image. Then once you import it, it's going to be like this. You understand yeah so and uh, I think the other picture you want to use is um, let me check I don't know but hope you see how I'm importing the picture now <laughs> so that you know see how I ask that how do I import it all right uh, I come to whatsapp document okay uh, okay here is it all right so I'll click on this check mark here, this mark sign, like as if teacher is marking work, you see it here, on top here, you click on it, you understand? So in case you don't see how I import the picture, this is what I did, you will click on this thing here, you see this box here, click on it, and then you click on this import picture, simple as that. Alright, so I would like to swap Peter's B's face for this particular face, alright, that is I want to bring Peter's B's face to this face. You understand now what i will do is now this is where you are having some issues this is selection here click on selection and then i said you should click on this lasso lasso this is it you see it's writing lasso this is it now after clicking on it bro please focus so see hmm. focus so i will not make another tutorial please focus if you don't understand you can ask question question is uh, appreciated now if you look at this picture you know i'm bringing peter's b's picture to this particular man's picture now this guy is putting on uh um um what do we call it now uh headphone yeah so which has to mean that his ear will not show now it has to mean that if i want to cut out peter b's picture so the ear will not show i mean he he how all right it will not show and Another thing you need to note before editing any picture is the hair. H A high hair, the hair, the one on the head. The hair of this man is different from Peter's B's own. So you have to know that you are going to just remove Peter's B's head and put it here, and then you are going to edit everything. Now, watch as I do mine. Click on the lasso tool, and this is what I ask you to do. Just, you see the highlight that is doing around the something, the face. All right, you see, I'm not selecting the face, so I'm just selecting the areas I need with my own hands. Please come down and select it well. This is a very important uh, aspect of it. I just hope you understand because there are many videos you need to watch to understand sketchbook fundamentals but anyway if you are sharp enough you understand it like this i think i'm doing well by trying to show you what and uh, how to go about it so if you really don't understand it with this tutorial bro ah you have to watch all those tutorials well. Now you can see what I'm selecting. You can see the move of my hand on the screen, right? Good. Make sure you select everything inside. Make sure it's just uh, that thing that looks like white and black, like line that is making line. Make sure it selects every area that you want to cut out. Do you understand? Now this is the area I wish to cut out. What I will do now is to go to this side and click on this this is called inverter tool you see this where my hand is rolling you see it on the top please look at it too. 
this is called inverter tool once i click on it we discover that it will select the face where i mean where i selected before and as well the background you see the edges of the work you see it good now what i will do now is to go to my hard eraser you can click on your tools here from the top here you understand and then i'll go to add eraser this is add eraser here you see it locate it in your own also and then i will use it to erase the background don't worry about how to erase the background once you select the face it will not affect the face because you have inverted it that means every area you select it should not erase you understand i think i'm just taking this route because this is the easiest way for you to do it at least that's the easiest way i know i can teach you for you to do it all right so i'll cancel the selection and then i'll turn on the picture that i want to put the face on now i can do well to duplicate the face i cut out so that if i make mistake i will just have to come back and use the one i duplicate instead of uh, cutting out the face again now i will click on this box again and click on transform but even before i do that i can decide right inside myself to reduce the picture opacity just a little all right and then i'll click on transform you can see how i'm trying to set everything i click on this distort here i want to use some arrow to drag the face See, this way that I'm teaching you, it can be slow, but I think this is the best way you can understand. You, you, you feel me? So please, make sure my effort is not wasted. Can you see? Alright. Now, I'll click on check mark. Once I'm done, I'll increase the opacity back to 100. Now, watch what I want to do. Now, you know, normally, it's abnormal for you to be using African picture for for a western person it is completely abnormal but you are still going to see how i'm still going to try my best to transform it to look like exactly like that is that right now i can click on this dot you know there's a dot here and i will color pick any part of the face you understand and then the one i have set to the eyes to the face i'll duplicate and then i will lock it here you can see this padlock make sure it is locked all right and then you can use any tool that can color and then put the color on it then you click on the layer again and this blending click, click it and put it on color you see what we have here now you can reduce it just a little i reduce it to 56 and then where we have white color maybe for the teeth i will do as well to add it i'm searching for tool that can be soft I think this airbrush is soft to put that white color so that it will not just be obvious. See what I'm doing? Also, here I would like to put it on black so that the black glasses will still be will still show as black. You see, all these ones I'm doing is not necessary. I'm just trying to. It's because it is an African picture, so I'm trying to make it look like Western. You understand? So if someone is paying you for this, because I used to do it, I used to edit it for some guys before, but I just back out because they are really committing crimes. Let me tell you the truth. So I want to employ you not to commit crime with it. It's okay to. You can, you know, normal. You can distinguish as in, you know. But don't commit crime with it. So that's just that's just my simple advice. All right. So I can as well move to the highs and do the same. It's not necessary, like I said. Just you feel me now. I would merge it, or I can just toggle with it, and then I will merge it. You understand? now i will use soft eraser this is soft eraser all right 
you can use any percent but make sure it is not at 100 this is 30 percent for now so i will make sure the blue border you see there is a blue border on this layer make sure the blue border is on that picture you want to erase the blue border anywhere it's showing on the layer that means that's the layer you are working on is that okay you don't have any problem with this particular picture you understand it is the face you cut that you have issues with so i'll use my soft eraser to blend the hedges Ah, bro, I just hope you understand because they are fundamentals you are, need to actually know before all of this, but I just hope you understand. You see, I'm using it on the hedges so that it will erase along with it. So that it will blend with the picture below. And this area of the hair, be careful, make sure it's totally blend. I mean totally. I want to do some parts. Okay. Just watch. Now, on this picture, the next thing I would do is to color pick the some area of the face. You see, if you look at the edges I just erased, it looks as if some parts are white and so, some other parts are dark. Now, I can still go along with this airbrush. Can you see it? I can still go along with it. And for this, you can possibly create a new layer for things to be easier for you. Alright. And then you just use it on it. On that new layer you just created. This may not be necessary, it's because it is an African picture. You understand? Uh -huh. That's why I'm doing all of this. So if it is not an African picture, don't bastardize the picture. You know, if it is not an African picture, everything will look alike. You understand? If it is white man picture that we are using for white man picture, you know, everything will almost look alike. So you don't need to be doing all of this. All right, so the next thing I will employ you to do now is on the skin. You understand me? Color pick what we have on the neck. You can still duplicate this. Lock the layer again. Put the color like I did earlier. I'm trying to make this African picture to look exactly like that uh, guy's picture. You understand? Even though we cannot get exact replica of it. Can you see this now? So just an example, bro. Don't use African picture for Western picture. You understand? But I think with this, you should have understand. And let me import a picture for you to see uh, where I did. Uh, I just did few things by trying to just steal the same processes that I have to cut the other guy's face to Peter B's face. You understand? So. I'll come to download and here is it. Can you see this? No, this is not perfect. Just an example. You understand? Just an example. Just an example. So, still the same process. You understand me? So, here is it. Here is it. Here is it. Hope you can see it now. Hope you can. So, if you want to save, you click on share. I mean, this particular one here, you click on it. You understand? And then you click on share. 
and then save to gallery so let me make this known the picture that should be below you see we are having some white background here it shouldn't be if you export it you can just crop it but it shouldn't be reason because the picture you want to be the main picture as that is this particular picture now this white man picture is the main picture it should be the first one you import you understand so that's it guys i wish you success i hope you understand with this few ways i have tried to explain if you don't understand bro just watch other tutorials that's just watch other tutorials i've sent you i think that's just the remedy all right so but with this at least that you even send an african picture to convert it to to something like you know i tried so there it is hope you understand me now so anybody can be convinced that oh this guy is actually the owner of the picture right now so even after this after saving it you can still enhance it without a meaning but make sure it's not you know that's it all right, guys.